Did you ever wonder what would happen if you mixed Baby Groot with Stitch? This week we're doing Baby Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy and Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. It's going to be a fun mashup, so let's get started. Cool, and if you guys want to build one of your own, you can follow along and buy some Airdo in the links below. So I'm going to start with the tree texture. I'm using a little bit of gray and brown. And I really want to get like that kind of marbled look. And I'm going to use kind of like a cone, not a cone, but a cup shape for his head. And then that's like a hole for the little sprout that's going to come out. Oh yeah, you got to have a little sprout. Yeah, and Baby Groot has become like so popular. And he's just like the cutest thing ever. He really is. And I didn't know there was, he grew from like the adult group, apparently, from the first movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen Guardians of the Galaxy, but yeah, it's, yeah. it's a pretty cute story. And it was unexpected to see uh, Groot in that form, and it was kind of the best thing ever. Yeah, I love him. So I'm excited about this one. So I made a little crevice for his mouth, and then I'm gonna fill it with some dark red that I mix with black and a little bit of red. And then I kind of just try to shape it to the same shape of his mouth, and then using that tool just to kind of like nicely press it in. Yeah, it really helps to fill it in like that. It makes it look a lot more realistic. Yeah, now I got his little tongue in there. And then next up, we're gonna do his little teeth. So this is more uh, Stitch, Stitch's teeth. So he's kind of like an alien, right? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. I guess, you know, they both kind of come from an alien world, really, when you think about it. So they're a good match. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think uh, Stitch, he, I, he might have came from the same world as like Star Wars, I wanna say. Because I think when he landed first on Earth in Hawaii, he his first words were Chewbacca, which is really cool. <laughs> <laughs> I did not know yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, fun little fact there. So I'm doing his like crazy purple eye. <laughs> so. Yeah, it was looking like a lot like Baby Groot, and now you're adding some more Stitch elements in there, so that's cool again. Yeah, so that's more of the stitch combined with um, Baby Groot. Nice technique there with the block as well. Oh yeah, it makes it really easy to stick on his eye and like I can see what I'm doing with the clear uh, rectangle. Are these the ears? Yes, so we're making Stitch's big blue ears. Kind of just do the outside and then follow the inside with um, some purple. It's like the perfect purple from the bucket that we have. Yeah, you didn't have to do much mixing there. No, not at all. And I'm using a X-Acto knife just to get that really nice clean cut, but be careful when you're using these. <laughs> yeah, definitely be careful with that. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to use a little bit of water to stick on his ears since they're so big and floppy. I don't want them to fall off. Yeah, water kind of acts like glue if you haven't used Airdo before. If you just use a little bit, it'll help you stick everything together. So what's your favorite thing about Baby Groot? Oh gosh, I don't know. It's just his, his attitude, really. I mean, he's a cute character, but he's just so curious and like- Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, he's a little mischievous too. Yeah. But I read that like the director, the writers made him into like a baby version, just Aww. so like the team would have someone to take care of. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Now I'm making his um, feet first. So oh, there's, there's that blade again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm carving out the texture to make it look like wood. And then these will help him like sit up. So it's like his two feet and legs on the sides. And then I'm rolling out little tiny toes. <laughs> so adorable. Aww. So a little bit of water goes a long way. There's one of his uh, <laughs> feet. Yeah, I see what you're doing there. Yeah, it looks just like your reference art. 
Yeah, it's a fun reference I found online. So we'll try to link it in the bottom. And then now we're doing his stitches blue arms first, making little cones. And then I need to add those little slots for his fingernails. Pink fingers. Yeah. And then I'm going to roll out like some thin um, wood texture to wrap around his arms. Oh, you're like blending the wood into his arms. Yeah. So it's like he's growing over Stitch's arms almost. And then I have to cut like these little <laughs> slits to make it look like a trunk. It's a little, this one's a little more detailed, but. Yeah, you put a little bit of extra into this one. Oh yeah. Yeah, I focused a lot on the, the texture, the tree texture using that tool. So it's a lot of, it's a lot of fun to do. And you know what, that looks amazing. Good job. Yeah, a lot of lines, just lines and textures everywhere. So we're sticking on his little arms. Now you can see the pose. Yeah, that yeah, looks good. He's almost ready to do his little dance. Like, that's all Baby Groot does in the movie, right? Just, like, be cute and dance. Yeah. Okay, now I have to ask what this is. <laughs> You'll see. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's uh, the pattern on Stitch's back. I don't know exactly what, but yeah. you know, he's, like, some kind of alien. Oh, I, I see it now. Okay. It kind of looks like a football, but... yeah. All right, now we're going to stick his head on, and there you go. That is so cute. So that's Baby Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy and Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. Well, thanks for watching and following along. If you have any more ideas, we'd love to hear them, so drop them in the comments. See ya. See ya.